Hello, Rach from Thailand here. Today's video is about what on earth is going on in Thailand at the minute. Welcome to my channel, Retired and Living the Dream in Thailand. And yes, I am retired and I'm living the dream here in Thailand. There are many people trying to get back into Thailand, but for whatever reason, the tourist authority or the tourism minister or the the people who govern Thailand are just knee-jerk reaction coming up with all sorts of requests and information and stopping people from coming back to this country. Everybody understands that they don't want COVID back in Thailand. Uh, we've done very well to keep it out, but my goodness, living here in Thailand, you see the people suffering and the government are not doing anything really to, to help the, the poor people out. Petty crime has gone up um, tenfold with regard to people stealing things in Thailand. It was hardly heard of crime in Thailand, but now that's on the increase, unfortunately. And my view of what's going on, for instance, the new tourist, special tourist visa, the implications of having to go through the two-week quarantine process, the COVID insurance, $100,000 worth of cover for COVID and also the extra $100,000 worth of insurance cover just to come to Thailand. And they've just announced now also about the, the um, tourist visa. Anybody coming to Thailand needs to show at least £12,500 or $15,000 or 500000 baht in the bank account for six months previous to visiting Thailand. Is that going to persuade people to come here to a country that's already stopping people from coming? People are leaving Thailand. Um, there the seems to be the answer is the Chinese are the saviors of Thailand. Um, I agree, Chinese tourists is the number one tourist visiting Thailand, but their visit Thailand for a, on average 10 days and the quarantine period is 14 days so now the Thai government are looking at any Chinese people coming from the 22 provinces that are deemed to be COVID free don't have to bother going through a quarantine session so they just come here okay they still have to have the insurance and they have to make people aware of where they're traveling to obviously for for COVID in case it spreads so they can do track and trace but Wow, everybody knows the Chinese go to the Chinese hotels, they go to the Chinese restaurants, they go to the Chinese organised tours. They don't step outside the organisation that's been put in place for them to go to A, B, C and D. So they're not going to spend the money in the bars, they're not going to spend the money in the little mum and pop shops and also they're not going to spend the money in the local restaurants. They're all going to be herded like sheep from A, B, C and D and put on a coach, go to plan A, go to plan B, get on a plane, go back to China. If the Thai government think that that's the way forward, well, so it's going to be a long time before the tourist industry survives the COVID disease from around the world. And it's going to take a long, long time. So there's no quick answers for those people who want to come back to Thailand. There are many hoops for you to jump through. And even the people who were married to Thai nationals here are struggling to get back. People who want property over here are struggling to get back. So I've got to say I'm very lucky and very fortunate that I haven't left the country and have no intentions of leaving the country. So I, for one, am one of the lucky people who can still live here in Thailand at present. And the situation is pretty much as normal. We go everywhere we want to go without fear of COVID or without fear of lockdown. Um, I'm at my wife's farm now up in Karat and no problems. We can just walk around wherever we want. Yes, we have to wear a, a face mask, but that's one of the things that stipulates every shop that you go into, you have to wear a mask. We have no problems here. People have no problems here wearing masks. I understand people in the UK and uh, Americas and Australia's freedom of right, freedom of to wear a mask or not wear a mask. We're, we're stopping your civil liberties by insisting you wear a mask. It helps. Look at the COVID situation here. We've still had less than 60 deaths. We've only had 59 deaths since the outbreak of COVID. 
since the first case was discovered here in February. So 10 months, 10 months and we're still under 60. Look at the rest of the world, see what they're doing wrong, see what Thailand's doing right, track and trace. We enter our name on a piece of paper every time we enter the shopping mall, time and the place and our phone number. So if any problems ever happen, they'll have it on record as to the people, the telephone numbers, everybody has to do this because there's a person stood by the book and everybody has to sign this book. That's cheap technology, a pen and a piece of paper. None of this track and trace app system, a pen and a piece of paper and it works over here. So that's my little rant over with regard to, sorry for all the people who can't come here and want to come here. There are many people asking for ways where they can bypass the system and get here. Unfortunately, there's no quick fix and I can't see anything on the horizon to encourage people to think Thailand is the answer, Thailand's the place to be. I'll keep doing my videos, Thailand is a beautiful place to be and for those people who are persistent enough and find ways of being able to do it, it's a wonderful lifestyle once you get over them hurdles of getting here in the first place. So from Les, living the dream in Thailand, until the next video, bye for now.